next up for you a really really large family of plants called phlox uh, there are approximately 67 different varieties currently on the market there may even be more i don't know but lots and lots of different varieties in varying heights and sizes this one is a large white flowering variety and i have it paired here uh, with some longer florum lilies and a claire austin on an obelisk a really really useful plant again for late summer months the color palette on this one is really really useful uh, spanning all the way from the pure whites like this one here all the way through into purples violets really really hot pinks and a multitude of different sized plants to choose from this one is very very tall as you can see reaching up to six feet very tall and very leggy great for a cut flower but some of the smaller varieties are only reaching something in the region of 24 inches that's just two feet so a really really useful perennial plant for dotting around the garden and using now this particular one if you do deadhead this and cut the stems down by about a third after flowering you do actually get a second flowering on this as well so another great plant for adding multi levels of interest and pairing with your roses in the garden and obviously if you're if you're pick, uh, picking the ones that are white uh, the lavenders and the light pinks a great pairing for most uh, roses within the David Austin collection but a really useful genus of plants this is phlox very very commonly available a clump forming perennial tough as old boots really really cheap easy to propagate as well after several years in the ground you can simply lift it cut it up into two or three pieces with your spade replant it wherever you want it to maybe you want to give it to a friend and trade it with something else that you have that they don't but a really useful genus of plants this is phlox fantastic for adding late season color to go with your roses